So you want to convert your passion into a business? Let's take a look at how you build a business from scratch in India. I'm Shreya Sharan Pawar and I help women entrepreneurs start and grow an online business and today I'm going to be teaching you in this video what are the few very essential steps that you need to take if you're starting a business. So who can apply what I'm going to be teaching you right now whether you plan to sell physical or digital products. So these could be books, these, you could be, uh, you know, you could be selling homemade items, you could be selling handcrafted items, you could be a teacher, you could be anything so whether you are a product based business or a service based business the same formula applies to you all right so with that let me take you to my screen please be prepared to take a lot of notes as you go along in this video so the first thing that you need to do is to study your industry in depth now what do i mean by study your indu industry and what are the things that you need to do do in that let's take a look at that in detail so the first thing that you need to do is look at other you know look at the industry as a whole both in india and internationally see who are the various players who are the various uh, you know other brands out there other businesses out there in your industry who are offering similar products as you once you figure out who your immediate competition is go ahead and take a look at what are the types of products that they are selling what are the price points at which they are selling what kind of social media content are they creating how have they branded themselves go study their website go study all of their social media platforms if you wish you can even test their products out for yourself then go ahead and study who your target customer is going to be so what are their requirements what are you know what are the various issues that they face which you know because of which they want to buy your products or they're looking for products in your niche what are their buying preferences where do they like to shop what are the kind of books that they read to read uh, like to read what are the kind of movies do they like to watch what kind of social media pages are they interacting with these are the things that you'll need to go spend some time in studying the next thing that you should be doing is speak to experts in your industry so find out like who are the eminent figures in your industry go reach out to them and understand how this industry operates from them now you can also do this by attending some seminars you can attend some conferences some some meetups where you will get to meet other people who are uh, you know who are already in, in in business and you can take some advice from them and you can also dig up some industry reports so you'll find them in newspapers you'll find them in even if you just google it you'll be able to find find out what i want you to look at is how is your industry growing what is other upcoming trends how what are the uh, uh, projections for your industry so these are things that you should know as an entrepreneur when you're just starting out now do this very very diligently because this is going to be the groundwork that you set for the other steps now what are those let's go ahead and take a look at that the second step for you is to create a business plan for yourself now there are various things that you do put in a business plan but to keep it short what i want you to now write down is what are the products or services that you offer to sell at what price points do you intend to sell these now you won't have the answers to this question unless you've done your industry research right so that's why this is very important for you to do this in the first step next do some financial projections write down what expenses are you going to come across so maybe expenses in raw material expenses in getting some certifications done expenses in in setting up your your business maybe hiring a team hiring a you know a manufacturing unit so anticipate all of these down and calculate it then forecast your sales now based upon all the industry reports and after speaking to industry experts in your field you will be able to do this so start with some numbers you should have that okay in the first quarter this is my sales target in the quarter after that x is my sales target and work on 
based upon that okay so you need to be able to forecast your sales very very uh, you may not do it absolutely accurately but at least set some sort of a benchmark then in your business plan also write down who you are targeting so who is your target customer this is where you would have studied this so go ahead and write write it down and what kind of a promotion strategy do you intend to use now i'm not going to go into very much in detail on how to write a business plan right now i'll do a separate video on that and i'll link the video in the description after i've done that so that you can go ahead and watch that and create a business plan for yourself sounds good okay now let's move on to the third step after you've created your business plan you need to focus on building a brand for your business i can't tell you how important this is so what do you need to do in this is first and foremost choose a unique brand name don't go in for a very generic name which which is you know which a lot of other people are already doing because you could have issues later later on so find a unique brand name which represents who you are represents the kind of work that you want to do now i know this may not be very easy because when you start doing your research you'll feel like are i want this name but yaar ye to already taken hai iska this is not available okay but but it's you know in the long run it is so much better to for you to identify a brand name which is not generic which is not very similar to all the other businesses out there because that is what will help you stand apart the second aspect of your brand that you need to focus on is defining your brand identity and your brand values so what do i mean by that your brand identity is is your logo the graphics that you're going to be using the colors that you are going to be using the fonts that you will be using the kind of images that you will be uh, designing all of that your brand values would be what does your brand stand for so for example you could choose a uh, like say your if you are into handmade bath and body products you could your brand could stand for sustainability being eco friendly so find these values that you can stand for okay now let's move on to the fourth step which is which is understanding compliances now business registrations and compliances are extremely important and they are often ignored but it is you have to follow the rules of the land you have to follow what is what is mandated by the government now before i i know that some of you may think that all oh, this will come later on after i start my business i need to look look into this but trust me this is extremely important the sooner that you look into it the better it is so what are the various compliances that you need to look at let's take a look at that first and foremost business registrations now if you are a single person who starting a business you could go in for a sole proprietorship or also an udyam registration or a udyog aadhar registration now all of these three terms you would have you somebody will you will hear somebody use one term somebody will be using another term all of them are the same thing okay so that is why i'm i'm put all three of them here in the screen so that you don't get confused agar aapne koi aur blog padha wahan pe likha hai ki udyog aadhar registration karao kahin aur padha to sole proprietorship registration karao they are all the same thing so don't get confused this is the entity of your business it is extremely important to do this when you get started however if you are somebody who starting a partnership like you have a friend or a family member jiske sath aap business karne wale ho then you could explore something called a llp which is called a limited liability partnership the next thing that you need to look at is your gst registration now in india it is mandatory for e-commerce businesses to have gst registration if you are doing interstate shipping of goods irrespective of your annual turnover okay so isme koi limit nahi hai 20 lakhs ya 40 lakhs ki irrespective of your annual turnover if you are shipping products interstate it is important for you to get a gst registration now gst registration kaise lete hain business registration kaise kaise lete hain i'll tell you in just a little bit 
the third thing that you'll need to look at is your copyright and your trademark now this is extremely important you when you're starting your business you should focus on getting your brand name trademarked or at least do a public search to ensure that the brand name that you have chosen isn't already taken or isn't already trademarked abhi ye what does what is a trademark a trademark is is a, is gives you the right or the ownership of a brand name i'm explaining this to you in the most simplest of terms so if you get your brand name trademark nobody else can use that brand name if they use the brand name you can send them a legal notice saying that hey this is i have already trademarked this brand name you cannot take it so when getting your brand name trademark is extremely extremely important and now i have to also give you a warning here i worked with a lot of businesses who start their brand they start the they choose a brand name and they they think ki all right chalo let's let's get started i've already done it however when they go in for a trademark and a copyright registration they realize that somebody else has already trademarked that brand name now it is possible that they haven't yet launched the brand to agar aapne social media pe search kiya hoga uska koi user name nahi mila hoga you didn't find a facebook page or an instagram page associated with it so you thought that the brand name is available so my recommendation to you is once you finalize a brand name work with a lawyer work with somebody who can do a public search in the trademark directory and let you know whether that brand name is is available or not now this is a some you know uh, most lawyers will charge a very minimal fee for it but trust me just do this right now because bef- then later on because i know people have really struggled कि बाद में उनको उनका ब्रांड नेम ट्रेडमार्क नहीं कर पा रहे हैं एंड दे हैव हैड टू चेंज दर इंटायर ब्रांडिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच ओके नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू डू इज ओपन अ करंट अकाउंट अ करंट अकाउंट इज अ अकाउंट स्पेशली फॉर बिजनेसेस सो फॉर टू ओपन अ करंट अकाउंट यू विल नीड योर बिजनेस रजिस्ट्रेशन इसीलिए पहले ये ये रजिस्ट्रेशन जरूर करवा लेना इट गेट्स मच इजियर टू ओपन अ करंट अकाउंट एट एनी बैंक Now you may think that यार why do I need to open a current account? मैं तो सेव मेरे पास सेविंग्स अकाउंट है मैं ऑलरेडी यूज कर लेती हूँ हाउ एवर दैट्स नॉट रियली अलाउड ओके सो इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग अ बिजनेस डू द राइट थिंग्स ओपन ओपन अ करंट अकाउंट ओके नाउ लास्टली देर मे बी सम इंडस्ट्री स्पेसिफिक रजिस्ट्रेशन दैट यू मे रिक्वायर नाउ वॉट आर दीज रजिस्ट्रेशन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर इन द फूड बिजनेस सो यू मे रिक्वायर अ एफ एस एस ए आई लाइसेंस असाइड फ्रॉम दिस देर मे बी सम एडिशनल सर्टिफिकेशन दैट यू मे वॉन्ट टू गो इन फॉर सो यू नो विच विल हेल्प इस्टेब्लिश योर क्रेडिबिलिटी इस्टेब्लिश योर एक्सपर्टीज एंड एंड दोज यू नो एंड दोज रियली हेल्प इफ यू गेट दो सर्टिफिकेशन डन दोज रियली हेल्प टू बिल्ड ट्रस्ट अमंगस्ट योर पोटेंशियल कस्टमर्स सो दीज आर फ्यू थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट कंप्लायसेस अभी एक डिस्कलेमर मैं अभी से दे देती हूँ I am not a lawyer I am not a CA what I'm sharing with you is out of my own experience of running a business there are with e with based upon what type of a business registration that you go in for there are some other compliances also that you need to go in for the best person to help you with all of this would be a lawyer or a chartered accountant who can help you set all of this up i will not be able to help you set up a sole proprietorship or get your gst registration done i am not an authority in that on that however agar aapko marketing ki koi help chahiye you want to learn how to use social media i am always there so this is just a disclaimer that i want wanted to give to you the fifth step after you've done all of this is start building your influence okay start building your influence so what are the things that you need to do in when you reach here so first and foremost apni website create karo buy your domain name which is your branded domain name whatever brand name that you choose here that that should be the domain name that you go in for 
create all of your social media profiles with the same brand brand name okay to wohi use brand name ko apna username create kar lena if you are just starting on instagram i'm going to link a video here which will help you know what are the right steps to take when you're creating an instagram profile for your business so do go take a look at that so that you create the right instagram profile personal instagram profile pe kaam mat karna okay now the third thing that you can do is start offering free samples and free trials of your products so that you get some feedback from your customers and you can also generate some testimonials to get you started and lastly start creating a content plan content plan is आप सोशल मीडिया पे क्या पोस्ट करोगे वॉट आर यू गोइंग टू बी पोस्टिंग ऑन ऑल दी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म्स so that you build your authority you establish yourself as an ex- expert and you know you make by looking at your content all your followers feel that oh my god i really want to buy the products that she offers so these are the five steps that you need to take these are the five category categories that you need to work on which will re- this the, this is what is going to help you set the right foundation for your business I hope that you found these tips super simple to apply and you've got the basic steps that you need to take when you're just starting out. Now, so do if you found this video helpful, do share it with somebody else you know who wants to start their business so that they too can take the right steps to get started. So, if you want to learn more about branding and how do you build your business, a content strategy how do you use social media i have a free live training that i'm doing you're most welcome to come and attend that training i'm going to put the link here in the description box below register for it and i will see you live in my session would love to get your questions your thoughts put them in the comment below also join me on instagram where i go real raw behind the scenes this is my instagram handle go ahead follow me there and let me know if you like this video I will see you again later please take care